Hey guys, gonna do this real quickly. Um, I thought I'd just give my thoughts, honestly, on the announcement that was made in an upcoming broadcast of NXT. Um, the announcement made that, and I talked about this already, and but I wanted to kind of give it its own video about the NXT North American Championship, which is going to be contested in a six-man ladder match which is going to have EC3, Ricochet, Killian Dane, Laws Sullivan, um, Adam Cole, not Adam Cole, but um, it's going to have Ricochet, EC3, um, let's see, Ricochet, EC3, um, Killian Dane, Velveteen Dream, and, uh, who else? Who else is it? Twelve Adam Cole, but Adam Cole's on a triple threat, so it's going to be kind of interesting that he's in two matches. Adam Cole's on a triple threat tag team match, so they might change that. Um, but yeah, Adam Cole, EC3, Killian Dane, Law Sullivan, Ricochet, and Velveteen Dream. Again, they might change that. They might. They might. Uh, they might have to put someone else in the place of Adam Cole, but we'll, we'll see. That kind of tells me that the Undisputed Era is not walking out with the tag team titles. If they do, it would be an Undisputed Era night. Um, but I wanted to talk about it basically because. Um, let me check something. Hold on. All right. Um, Yeah, it's taking to, but you know, I wanted to talk about it um, mainly due to the fact that a lot of people have been questioning it. You know, it's like I said in that little video I did before work a couple of days ago, or several days ago. I said, you know, everybody's been asking for a new championship for for a mid card title when it comes to NXT, and now that you got it, you complain about it. You know. And I think the reason people complain about it is because they thought the best choice would be a television championship, so that way it's kind of defended on a regular weekly basis. And that's a good idea. But I think in a sense WWE wants to try to, I wouldn't say differentiate themselves, but kind of distance, differentiate them or distance themselves from anything associated maybe with WCW. But that's kind of what they that's kind of what I think they're doing you know that's why you don't see a television championship because even though that was an NWA title originally and kind of an impact championship at a time and it currently is a ring of honor championship I think WWE wants to make sure that in their own mind that even though a television championship would be great that a North American title is something that sounds even better and I know some people are thinking, well, why would they want a North American title? They got the U.S. title on SmackDown. Okay. That's just the thing, though. That's on SmackDown. Okay. Right now, the only legitimate, I guess you could say, mid-card championship that they have to contend for is not always contended. It's not always there at NXT to be uh, fought for, and that's the United Kingdom Championship. United Kingdom title is only showing up like several times, maybe two weeks in a row, a few other weeks, a few months. And the champion is also competing on non-WWE programming or shows in the UK and defending the championship against guys that are not associated with WWE. There's your answer there. 
And I think by having a North American championship kind of answers that question. You want a championship that will be defended primarily in North America, Canada, and the United States. And of course worldwide, there's no doubt about it, as we see that with the US, United Kingdom title. But you want something that kind of is like a counterpart to the United Kingdom Championship. I think also the reason they want to do this is so they don't have to keep depending on bringing in the United Kingdom Championship and they can continue to use that championship and the champion who holds it, in this case Pete Dunne, to continue to grow the brand or extension into the United Kingdom but also use it to maybe discover new talent that they can bring over to WWE. The North American Championship, you know, some, you know, many people may not agree with the decision to go that route, but you got to remember Paul Levesque, Triple H, he's an old school kind of guy. He has a respect for the past, present, and future of this business. So going with a North American Championship, I, I think is a good idea. I think it's a good way to pay tribute to the past because I think at one time you got to remember, you got to remember in the past WWF used to have a North American Championship when it was the WWWF and it was associated with the NWA. So they had a North American Championship in some form, form shape, or capacity. Heck, why do you think they chose the NWA North American title as the only main single dairy championship they brought over? or brought in during that uh, failed NWA invasion storyline because it was a way to pay tribute to the past if you will to kind of pay tribute like this is the first major singles or mid-card singles championship in existence as far as we know so I think that's why the North American championship was is being brought to NXT it's not only to give the rest of the roster something to that are not in the main event scene of NXT for the NXT title but give the rest of the main roster especially newcomers like EC3 and Ricochet in up and coming guys that are eventually going to head to the main roster like Velveteen Dream, Lost Sullivan and Killian Dane and Adam Cole it gives them something to wet the whistle with kind of give them a taste of what singles championship is in NXT and if they're going by tradition, this is going to be that stepping stone that's needed to get to the NXT title or that stepping stone that allows them to rocket themselves to the main roster and at least compete on the mid card, upper mid card level for maybe the Intercontinental US Championships. You know, yeah, it's no television title. I, I'll admit that. I will admit that. It's no television championship, but it's better than nothing. And again, it pays tribute to the past because there was a North American title once in WWE's history, we know that, as well as it paves the way for the future. And it puts, in a sense, when you think about it, everybody says NXT is the third brand and is the better brand, it puts it on equal footing with both the other two brands. You know, because everybody still looks at, even though they look at NXT as that third brand and that better brand, they still look at it as a developmental territory and the only way you can get out of the shadows of that assumption that it's still developmental is by giving it a secondary championship that puts it on par with Raw and SmackDown. Because you know Raw has the Universal Intercontinental Raw Tag Team and Women's Championships. SmackDown has the WWE, the US, the SmackDown Tag Team Championships and the SmackDown Women's Championship. Now NXT is going to be on equal footing because they would have the NXT Championship, the North American Championship, the NXT Tag Team Titles, and the NXT Women's Championship. I mean, yeah, they'll still be looked at as a developmental brand, like the next step up to the main roster, but they will be on equal footing now. It'll be an equal level playing field, so that way, you know, you know, NXT doesn't still feel like a developmental brand. It will feel more like a distinguished third main roster brand that maybe some main roster superstars, men and women, may want to be part of in the near future. And that's the way I look at it with this championship. That It's basically to help even the playing field when it comes to all three brands. Yeah, NXT is still looked at as developmental and shaping 
and basically to help shape the future main roster stars. But now it's going to be looked at more than just that. It'll be looked at not just as that still, but it'll be looked at as more of a third equal brand because now it's got just as many championships spread out as does the other two shows. So, um, so overall, I think it's a good idea. It helps equal out the branding between equal. It basically equals out out all three brands. Equals level even level puts an even level level playing field for them. It does that. It put it puts it to an even level playing field, and. I think, I think in all honesty, it's going to help a lot of stars. I mean, the only re now you might think, well, why is EC3, you know, Ricochet and all of them in there? If you're going to, if you're going to inaugurate your first champion, you want it to be something of a big, a big name right now in your brand. And EC3, Adam Cole, Ricochet, Los Sullivan, Killian Dane, and Velveteen Dream are equally right now some of the biggest stars they got going in NXT. Nothing against Aleister Black or Aldre and Almas who are going to main event for the NXT title. But these guys are right next to them in equal superstar status as big important names on that roster. And having someone like an EC3 or an Adam Cole be the first North American champion puts prestige, puts importance on that championship puts legitimacy into that championship that even after they drop the title down the line everybody else is going to want to step up and want a shot at being the champion champion with that North American title so overall again I think it's a good idea I think it's gonna I think by putting it on someone like one of the six guys that are competing for it inaugurally is a good idea because it, like I said it puts legitimacy and prestige right into that title right off the bat and it's going to make anybody else that comes after it you know whether it is a ricochet whether it is an EC3 and Adam Cole or Killian Dane or whoever want to continue that prestige and that legacy and that legitimacy that the inaugural champion gives to it so that's really my take on the whole situation so that's really my take on the whole situation with the North American title. I think it's a good idea. And I can't wait to NXT take over the New Orleans to see what it's going to look like. We might look at we might get a preview of it uh, with WrestleMania week and see what it's going to look like. But I cannot wait to see how it goes down and who WWE decides to go with as the inaugural North American champion. So... Let me know what you guys think, though, down below. Comment if you like. Deluxe Man, O2R Central, I'd like to hear your thoughts on this. And I'll talk to you all later.